Pune, where I was born, as I mentioned, uh, the Peshwas had on the uh, boundary of uh, Pune, a uh, place called Katras, a large tank where they, uh, 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 with a barrage, uh, stored this monsoon water and with protected aqueducts supplied Pune. But there were no major dams. The first major dams in the British uh, times was apparently also very close to Pune, Khadakwasla, which was uh, built, I believe, in 1848 or so. Uh, <clears throat> but the real large scale building of dams tapping the Western Ghats water started with the Tata Hydropower Company. First, uh, they constructed two dams uh, uh, in Lonavla area, uh, Shirota and Valwal. Now, the, re the localities were inhabited by shifting cultivators and pastorals, uh, very unorganized communities. And the Tata simply encroached on their habitat. They did not offer any compensation. They did not uh, offer any uh, uh, the, uh, permission. They simply encroached and built the dams and the poor people left to scatter from there. Then they uh, started the Mulshi Dam. Now Mulshi <coughs> is uh, again, uh, west of Pune, uh, close to the crest line of the Ghats. And as they were used to, in the, the case of Shirota and Walwan, when they came to Murshi, they it was uh, an area extensively cultivated, famous for its uh, rice, uh, very fragrant Ambe Mohor rice and so on. They got into farmers' fields, again, without asking them uh, any permission and started digging trenches. Now, here, of course, they ran into a very different situation from the Valwan Shirota dams earlier, because although locally the peasants uh, cultivated, most of the landlords, they were from Pune. And uh, the land was indeed owned by the Pune followers, many of them, of Lokamanya Tilak, who was dubbed the father of Indian discontent. So, uh, in his, uh, he had this uh, newspaper, Kesari, uh, or the Lion, anyway, amongst other things, Tilak had been sent to, for six years by the British under the Sedition Act for writing an editorial saying that has the government lost its uh, mind. Anyway, so in that office was a young Bapat working as whatever sub editor or some such, who was a firebrand. He had in fact been educated in England where he had come into contact with uh, revolutionaries who were thinking of uh, armed revolution in India. Anyway, he was not involved in uh, that way, uh, armed revolution, but he was a firebrand, as I said, and on returning to India from England, he had joined Kesari, and uh, he became involved in organizing this anti dam protest. And uh, oddly, the Pune citizens gave him the title of Senapati, so he is well known to this day as Senapati Bapat, uh, uh, he was quite a public figure in Pune. Uh, he lived for a long time. He passed away some years ago. Anyway, so uh, Senapati Bapat led a very spirited and well-organized resistance to the Tatas taking over the lands without offering any compensation, without any negotiations with the landlords, it was a very effective protest. It has been termed the first anti-dam movement of India. The, it started around 1915. It collapsed in 1920. Uh, 
regretfully, it collapsed because Mahatma Gandhi supported Tata's rather than the uh, Mulshi landholders.